and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hermione and today I'm going to be showing you part two of my four part series, Organize Your Life. This series is all about organizing your personal space and making it feel so much more comfortable and joyous to be in. I spend a lot of time in my bedroom and I want it to feel zen and it wasn't feeling zen at all. So I did a huge makeover and a huge clear out and I wanted to show you guys the process because I thought it might inspire you to do it for yourselves. Today's episode is all about your closet and clearing it out and getting rid and being free of all of the clutter in your closet. Last time I showed you guys how to do your whole room but I left the closet out because I thought it was just one of those mammoth tasks that you really need to dedicate a whole day to just to be able to appreciate how much stuff you have and how much stuff you really need to get rid of. So if your closet is looking a little bit worse for wear, hopefully this video will inspire you. And as always, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. I make new lifestyle videos on Thursdays and on Saturdays I do DIYs. And check out my social media. I'd love for you to come and say hi on Twitter or Instagram. And with all of that being said, let's get into the closet clear out. A good place to start is by doing your laundry either the day before or just as you start doing this process. Get it all done and then you can see all the clothes that you have. Then you can go ahead and make a list of the things that you would really need to keep. Maybe it's smart clothes or bathing suits, make a list of the bare minimum and this will keep you on track. To be able to sort your clothes well, you kind of need to see all of them in one place to really understand how much stuff you have. So go ahead and take all of your clothes out of your wardrobes, your chest of drawers, your buckets, baskets, wherever you have them and put them in a big pile. I like to put them on my bed because it's a big enough space for me to sort through them. And then you can take a step back and really look at how much stuff you have and go ahead and evaluate, do I really need this many items of clothing? This will help put it in perspective for you. While your closet or wardrobe or chest of drawers is empty, this is the best time to go ahead and clean and get rid of any dust or grime because let's face it, when is it going to be this empty again? And you can finish it up with some air freshener to make it smell good too. Next up is time to make some decisions. So I would recommend first off deciding what you absolutely want to keep and keep only the items that really you love and you know you're going to wear. Go ahead and put them back and then you can take stock of what you have and then you can go on to the rest of the pile. If you're not sure what to do with what's left, I would recommend making some piles. Make a maybe pile, a donate pile and this needs to be fixed pile. And with anything in the maybe pile, I would recommend trying it on, then you get a real sense of whether you want to keep it or not, and ask yourself a ton of questions. Ask yourself, why have I not worn this for the longest time? When will I wear this? Why did I even keep this? If you didn't wear it last season for whatever season it was appropriate for, maybe you should think of getting rid of it, and don't keep anything that you think you're gonna wear someday. I like to store all of my out of season clothes in these big IKEA boxes that I put at the bottom of my wardrobes. I know that's not very KonMari of me, but I absolutely cannot stand seeing clothes that I know I'm not going to wear on the rail. It drives me insane. Being able to very quickly pick out an outfit out of the things that you know you're actually going to wear for the season is so important. So I like to create an order in my closet. So mine goes from short sleeves to long sleeves to dresses, to shirts, and then to light jumpers and outerwear for the summer season, of course. Velvet hangers are the best for storing clothes because they don't slip off them very easily, but these thin hangers are really good too. The only thing I don't recommend is having a bunch of chunky store hangers because that takes up so much space and it looks so messy. Anything that you're going to put in your drawers, it's time to go ahead and fold those up. I like using this folding thing. I just got it off Amazon. I think it's literally just called a clothes folder. I've had this for a long time and I just fold it as you can see here and then I store them upright in my drawers. That way I can access them really easily and it works for skirts and jeans too. It's a great way of being able to see all of the clothes you own in one place and being able to pick out your outfit very easily. 
And don't think I've forgotten about bags. At this point, it's a great idea to go ahead and clear out all of the gross receipts and wrappers from every single bag you have. You don't know what you'll find. You might find some money, who knows? And then go and hang up your favorite bags, but keep this really minimal and simple. You don't want too much hanging on your wall and any other small bags, you can always go ahead and stuff into a large bag. I then go ahead and put this on the top of my wardrobe so it keeps it out of the way, but you can store it wherever. And lastly, it's a good idea to make some new habits. So whenever you buy something new and you go and put it in your wardrobe, it's a great idea to have a look to see if you can find anything that you can take out and donate. One for one, bring one in, take one out. That is everything for this video. I really hope you guys liked it and it inspired you to get cleaning and organizing and decluttering your closet. And as always, I would love for you to stick around. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I make videos on Thursdays about lifestyle topics.